Really? I felt like we needed to make America hippo again. <sighs> really? That's what you went with? Dude, we needed that. Come on. I was watching last week's episode and I was like, oh, we were so young and optimistic back then. <laughs> the world couldn't possibly. Yes, it could. Yeah, yeah. Never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups. That's that's why I've got job security, man. Yeah. Now this it's like 2016 is the year of the dumpster fire. It is, man. Like I was saying to Dan the other day, like I'm a little like I don't at all regret, regret marrying him. I'm very glad we got married. I'm a little mad we got married in this bullshit year. Yeah. Even, like, look at Grady. Look at Grady. The year we got married is a bullshit fucking year. Even Grady is hiding. Look at him. He's like, I'm so over this year. Like, I'm a little mad that that's forever our wedding anniversary because this year is bullshit. It's, it's like we still have... Boy Eiffel died today. What? Yeah, I saw that. For, uh, Fucking journalism legend. We needed her right now. I'm I'm at the point where I'm like, anything is fair game now for the rest of this year. Nothing is safe. No. Don't don't be sure that anything will be okay because nothing's no. gonna be okay. It's fucking Game of Thrones now, motherfuckers. No, no. Oh, you love that character? You really fucking love that character? Boom! Dead. You, you could you could wake up tomorrow. You the thought, rock. You thought the good guys were gonna win? Fuck you, Joffrey. That's where we're at. He's, where we're at. He's not really Joffrey so much as. Gen he's about that petulant. Well, no, he's more like gender swap Veruca Salt. Isn't that Joffrey? Huh? Huh? Dick. Grady's still hiding. He's like, nope, want no part of this. <laughs> Look yeah. at you, buddy. No, buddy. No, we can still see you. He's like, oh, wait, wait you want to get down? You always want to. Like every year Aww. for New Year's Eve, you play that Jonathan Colton, thank God it's over. I don't think it will ever be truer. That's, that's Jim's big ego, but yeah. Bullshit year. Is that not Jonathan Colton? Nope, it's Jim's big ego. All right. Well, I, I don't think that will ever be more true than at the end of this bullshit year. You're you're gonna wake up tomorrow, turn on the news. Uh, this morning, the Rocky Mountains exploded into flame. Um, Mount Rushmore up and left. Yeah, th th there are no more faces on Mount Rushmore, and uh, Santa died. <laughs> hope, all li hope you all like Krampus. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be this Christmas. Merry Christmas, kids. Santa's dead. Right. Ah. Uh. This bullshit here. This is, it's been nothing but nonstop bullshit. We had to deal with that election. Mm -hmm. We had to deal with what Prince died, David fucking Bowie died. Brexit. Fucking Brexit. Environmental crises all over the place, tsunamis, sinkholes. It's going to be like tomorrow. Oh, by the way, Thailand has nukes now. Yeah. Surprise! And all the dolphins are gone. We don't know why. <laughs> Weird. No more dolphins. Weirdest thing. <sighs> but, well, we persevere because not like we got a lot of options. Yeah, I mean, what's what's our other choice? Yeah. Not a good one. Babies, why are you hanging out on the bottom of the tower just staring at the floor? <laughs> They're waiting for Satan to come through the ground. Yeah, they're like, we're we're watching for the Hellmouth. Babies, I don't think the Hellmouth is, well, it might be in New Jersey, now that I say that. Medea Halloween, number one movie in the country. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? All right, well, let's get to the intro. Each week... Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And we're going to start with just one of those you fucking idiots. It's, there are very simple things in the world that you just, 
you, you kind of like tell people not to do it and they do it anyway, just out of reflex. It's like smelling spoiled milk. It's like poking at that thing that hasn't healed yet. Yeah. It's, it's this, don't fucking do that. It's bad for you. And it, it's incredibly hard to reiterate this idea to people when it comes to technology because they just do not fucking get it. And the NHS this morning, uh, England's- Don't make your password password. Yeah. The NHS this morning had a wonderful little lesson in this. 1.2 million NHS employees are trapped in reply all email hell. Trapped? Like, can they just stop replying? <laughs> Here's what happened. Okay. A test email was accidentally sent to everyone who works at the UK Health Service, prompting a series of reply all responses from annoyed recipients going out to all 1 million plus employees of the organization. No, don't do that. Because what was happening was people were getting this email and then people were replying to go, why am I getting this email? And then people would reply and go, no, I don't want this, unsubscribe. And someone else would go, well, you can't unsubscribe. This is not an automated list. And someone else would go, well, how do I stop this? Meanwhile, millions of emails are swamping the NHS. So, you know. Yeah. An NHS reply told Business Insider there have been at least 120 replies so far, meaning that uh, more than 140 million needless emails have been sent across the NHS network today. Just stop replying to it. As, it's not hard. As a result, they said its email systems are running, quote, very slowly today. Yeah, you think? That's like a self-imposed DDoS attack. Yes. They DOS themselves. Yeah. All right. Folks, f when you send email back and forth, you, you're normally doing it across the internet, your own private personal email, and you think of it like a phone call. But when you're talking about a closed server email on an internal network that's designed to go back and forth for, for multiple people, it's not you know me meant for, you can send email to it, but it's still one little server let me make this easier for you. Their server right now, you know that scene in the Harry Potter movie where the Dursleys try to stop Harry from getting his Hogwarts letter for that year? Yeah. And eventually, like, 50 gazillion letters just flood in from every opening. That's of it. That's, That's it. That's what their server's like right now. That's it. That's exactly it. Harry Potter reference, of course. No, it's just... <laughs> I love how they just... You know the, what those... I, I can tell you what those replies look like. Uns stop replying. Unless, unsubscribe. Stop replying. You stop replying. No, you stop replying. Will everybody stop replying? You no, know, you. No, one of those assholes cut all the text in the nope. email for it. Nope. Oh, hell no. Nope. Mm -mm. So you got an email that's like going longer and longer and longer every time you get it because those motherfuckers aren't cutting all the old text. <sighs> Reply all should be like against international law. It should be against the Geneva Conventions. Just stop replying. I'm saying my, my metaphor made it make sense to them. Just just stop replying for fuck's just sake. Don't reply. That's all you have to do. How did how is this how is this difficult? Because people are stupid. God, yes. Speaking of, we've got a little bit more stupid. I mean, after this week, I I'm not sure any level of stupidity could surprise me. <laughs> there, there's, there's really, and I want to, I do want to mention how many, how many people sent stories this week that were nothing but Trump campaign related. <sighs> and, you know, I could do, I could seriously do a Trump special. Yeah, I don't want to, we but. Don't well, you know why we don't want the bit to be depressing? And it was just one after another stupid fucking thing. <laughs> Excuse me. I had to sift through to find the not Trump stupid, the, the rest of the stupid. It's because this is, this is where we all come to escape 
that horrible shit into weirdly less horrifying. Yeah. Horror. Let's go to Portugal now. And all right, I understand selfies are something for for people. They want to express themselves. Uh, young women want to be able to express themselves with selfies. They don't want to feel constrained. It's cool. I get it. That's cool. But you know what? Every th there are lines. There are lines. There are lines. And those lines are when you fucking destroy antiques fucking shit in a museum. Lisbon, Portugal, a priceless 300-year-old statue in Lisbon's National Museum of Ancient Art shattered after it was knocked over, knocked over by a tourist trying to snap a selfie. Oh, hell no. Museum official said the statue of St. Michael, which dates back to the early 1700s, is broken beyond repair. And now this is what the part that made me just bang my head into the wall. The offending tourist reportedly posted a photo of the destroyed statue to Facebook and said, quote, it's the price to be paid for free entrances on the first Sunday of every month. What the fuck does that even mean? That means if you let us in here for free, we go break shit. Because tough. Look at what I, they put it on Facebook. It's like, look at what I did. Sucks to be you. Free access to museums is a great thing. Dance from St. Louis. When we went there, like you the can just mouth. go to the zoo and the art museum anytime for free all the time. I was blown away by this because I'm from fucking New York where nothing is free. Where like, if you want to go to the free museum, they hit you up for a $20 donation. Like nothing's free. So when he was like, yeah, we can just go tool around the art museum all day for no money. I like I was walking through waiting for somebody to stop me and ask me for money. You're like, not allowed in here. Like, don't ruin it. Well, I mean, this that is just so fucking and to take the picture of the smash statue. Right? And to be like, well, this is what you get for letting people look at art. <sighs> Fuck you. Yeah. I mean, just. Fuck you with a sharpened shard of that priceless statue. Oh, no. Sideways. Do, do not. Do, don't put the St. Michael up your butt. Don't. Don't put St. Michael up your butt. You're just making this worse. You deserve a righteous and holy fucking. <sighs> speaking. Speaking of a righteous and holy fucking. How do I do that? I don't see the story as an advance, you guys. This is, we, we have to... We, I, we, I got criticized on a first date for that once, actually. Guy had watched the show and said that he thought I should research everything in advance because I wasn't that funny. First date. <sighs> yeah, he wasn't really trying very hard. Um, he also complained that I wore heels and was lying about my height. Okay, Cupid. So we've we've often on this show had to inform people that your kinks are fine. Mm -hmm. Everybody's a consenting adult. It's all cool. That's great. However, time and place. Yes. And this is Florida because, of course, it's fucking Florida. I mean, there's the place. <laughs> Florida, any goddamn thing goes. Man caught masturbating in a Save-A-Lot parking lot. Petroleum jelly found in suspect's truck. Oh my god, don't masturbate with that. Man was caught masturbating to a pornographic video on Sunday while parked in a Save-A-Lot parking lot, according to Orange County Sheriff's Office. A uh, female witness flagged down a deputy who was patrolling the area and told him she had seen a man inside a green Toyota truck watching a pornographic video 
and masturbating with the window down. Can't you do that at home? I, that, you know, that sounds like a very specific kink. That is, I'm going to go out in public and watch porn and jerk off, and you're going to watch me. Right. No. Apparently, your very specific kink is getting to be a registered sex offender. Yes. Look, the consenting adults participating in whatever they want to participate in, fucking awesome. The key word there is consenting. And not Vaseline, oh my god. Like, all right, there's a school of thought that you can use Vaseline for anything. Beauty bloggers all say this. I know. People use it as face cream in their hair, on their nails. And I'm like, here's the thing. What's it called? It's called petroleum jelly. What's the first word in that? That shouldn't be fucking all over you. Like, that weirds me out, dude. Petroleum? Yeah. Oil? Certainly, like, you use that to run your car. <laughs> It is flammable, too. You're going to stick your dick in the gas tank next time you need lube? No! <laughs> Not safe. Uh, they make lube. They make lube. And it's not even like you have to order it online anymore. You can go to fucking Walmart and get lube. They run commercials for it during soap operas. Yeah, you, you, you gotta... You don't... CNN runs commercials for KY now. They do. And they're, it's like weird, like people on jet skis and then a shot of them in bed with their hair messed up. They're very bad. I just, it, it, don't inflict your kink. Don't, it's not, should not be, it can be shared. It should not be inflicted. It should not be shared with the unknowing and unwilling. Right. And if your kink is the unknowing and unwilling, that's not good. You've crossed, that's not a kink anymore. That's a sex crime. Yeah. You see how that works? Mm -hmm. You gotta have, I just. Your kink, is, your kink is only okay when everybody involved is okay with it. I just love how he, par he parks the truck, rolls down the window, cranks up the porn, just starts spanking it. It's like, hey, how y'all doing? Nice day out today, isn't it? Fucking Vaseline. What you buying at the save a lot? You got any more? You got a KY jelly? All I got is Vaseline. Uh, I don't like him. I don't like him either. You would don't do that. Oh, this. Oh, Jesus. This is another. Uh, every week we have another that keeps fucking happening. They need to stop fucking happening. We keep lists. We we know this keeps fucking happening. This is yet again another instance of you could in your crime get a getaway driver or you could call an Uber. A taxi. Fucking taxi. Men took ta taxi to rob house then stiffed the driver. Come on. <laughs> It's not even your money at that point. And guess what? It's Jersey. Of course, it's fucking Jersey. Uh, probably, probably Chris Christie did it. Is it Deal? Deal Jersey? Uh, yeah. I don't. I didn't know there was a Deal Jersey, but all right. Deal police say they arrested two men who took a taxi to burglarize a house and refused to pay the driver when they drove back to an apartment in Asbury Park with the stolen goods. Kenneth Burke, 46, and Timothy Foote, 38, of Ocean Township, called a taxi uh, to a home in uh, Deal on Friday night. Egan said they instructed the taxi driver to wait outside before they returned a short time later with a television set and some liquor bottles. Said the driver took them to an apartment in Asbury Park where they got out without paying the fare. The driver called the police and reported the suspicious activity. Here's my question. Hmm. You're a taxi driver. Yeah. I understand you don't want to lose your fare. Right. But when your fare tells you to wait and then obviously commits a felony, I would leave their ass behind. 
Like <laughs> if they break into a house and come out with a bunch of shit that's not theirs, I would leave their asses behind. Well, it does point. I, I love the fact they would not have been caught had they not stiffed the dude. Yeah. Because the minute they didn't pay the fare, he's like, hello, police. I saw some <laughs> suspicious stuff. I, I, I'm cool with you guys committing a crime in my cab, but you better pay me. You better, I better get my cut. Well, you know how the fucking medallion system works for taxi drivers? And now they have Uber to contend with you? Damn right. I'd be like, hey, y'all do whatever the shit you want. I just need my fucking tip, okay? Yeah, just give me my money. Uh, Jersey. <laughs> it's that Jersey. I mean, I live here. I Jersey. can't. And I live in a very nice neighborhood. I shouldn't bitch. I hate our governor. But Cory Booker is okay. And, you know, well, I have friends here that aren't assholes. But he's not going to be your governor. He's not going to be New Jersey's problem for much longer. He's going to be all of our problem. Yay. Yay. That's not better. That's not better. Uh he should be cleaning up Atlantic City personally with a toothbrush. Forever. What, like Sisyphus just with... Yes. Scrubbing... Yes. With a he toothbrush. He should be personally sweeping the fucking boardwalk for the rest of his life. <sighs> personally directing traffic on the fucking GWB. We're going to move to uh, to China. Oh, for fuck this story. God damn it. Look, I know zoos. I've kind of gotten a bad rap in recent years. Yeah, there are a lot of really good zoos in the world. They're not just there to display the animals for entertainment. They're conservation efforts. They're trying to bring back endangered species. They are very important. Some of them are doing very good work and saving endangered species. And Some then terrible. And then there's this these assholes. Chinese zoo admits putting a Siberian husky in a wolf <laughs> enclosure to make it more interesting. That's a dog. Officials admitted to placing the dog in the exhibit. Their reasoning was simple. Apparently, they wanted to make the exhibit more interesting for visitors. Husky was filmed, uh, was spotted after someone filmed the dog in the enclosure after it apparently sustained a leg injury. However, officials claim the hus husky is, quote, respected by the wolves, and the injury wasn't the result of an attack. They say the injury occurred after an accident. Dog has been removed from the enclosure in order for its wound to heal. No, the dog needs to not be in the enclosure. Puppy. Look, okay. It just because it looks like something. Does yeah. not mean it is something. And this is not like there's that heartwarming story in Russia of the stray cat that broke into the lynx enclosure and mm -hmm. just like made best friends with the lynx and they kept her because they're BFFs now. This is not that because those animals chose that for themselves. Right. That 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 little cat just popped in and was like, hey, want to be friends? And the lynx was like, OK, you know, that's different. Vodka and water look a lot alike. Yeah. They're not the same thing. No. Huskies and wolves look kind of alike. However, if you've ever seen a wolf, it's not a husky. It's they are bigger, they are broader, they they are leaner. Feral. Yeah. They're not tamed. They, they're not domesticated animals. They and and domesticated animals behave very differently. For example, yeah. Grady. Grady, come here, buddy. You were a domesticated animal. Grady is not a great jungle cat. You were a domesticated animal, Grady. No, I'm not. Fuck you. And if I let you outside, you would be dead in 10 minutes. <laughs> because you are scared of everything and you don't know how to hunt. And why are you, why have we turned this into you verbally abusing your cat? <laughs> well, it's I'm making a point here. I'm, You're like, you don't even earn your keep around here. He doesn't. He fucking doesn't. I gotta clean up your shit. I do. You don't have a job. He doesn't. <sighs> Poor Grady. Poor Grady. Poor me. I gotta put up with this shit. Poor Grady. 
And poor Grady, you should see when he can't poop properly and I got streaks all along the goddamn carpet because he's just riding it, rubbing his ass. <laughs> I will say that is, I, I love Miracle very much and I miss her, but it is nice to have cats that don't have any poop related problems. That's, that's a luxury that I've forgotten about. And you just... <sighs> They do just hang out in their litter box, though, which I don't understand. Like, we have the self-cleaning one that cleans after every time they use it, so their litter box is pretty much never dirty, but they'll just go in and chill in there. <laughs> like, what are you doing? That's where you poop. You're sitting in your toilet. Yeah. Just hanging out. Well, they need a place to smoke, is what it is. <laughs> Maybe. What are you guys doing? Come over here. Be on the internet. Oh, wait, Peggy's here. Come here, Peggy. Put Grady in the wolf enclosure. Fuck you. Hell no. Hello, Internet. I'm about to punch mommy in the face. They still have not grown into their ears. Yes, they have. Their Don't ears are still gigantic. Don't listen to him. You're beautiful. You're the prettiest kitty. Your sister is also the prettiest kitty. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ow, ow, okay, there was no need for, <laughs> no need for kicking. Come here. Now yes, I am pretty, and right? now you shall pay! Dottie's like, no, fuck that. You ain't picking me up. You go to hell. Our last one tonight is Jesus Christ. All right, look. I obviously... The last one tonight is Jesus Christ, man. It has gotten bad. I obviously... If Jesus Christ is on a naked meth rampage, like... We're okay. done. We're fucking done. I give no. up. I, I obviously make a living doing this internet shit by attracting an audience by doing things to get people that want to watch what we do yeah like blatantly holding our cats up to the camera and there then uh, but there's a line and i'm not talking about nudity because fuck it's the internet and i'm not talking about wacky hijinks because fuck it's the internet there is however a fucking line and that is when you're setting the world on fire. No, you know, I'm kind of down with that at this point. <laughs> Aspiring weatherman arrested for setting fire to draw Facebook views. An aspiring weatherman in eastern Kentucky has been arrested after admitting he intentionally set a fire to bring attention to his Facebook videos. Johnny Mullins, 21, faced a charge of second-degree arson for a blaze in Letcher County. Um, police Chief James Stevens told the Associated Press on Friday that, uh, okay, Mullins posted selfie videos on Facebook that were recorded in front of various fires. Stevens said he called them weather outlook segments and got 2,900 views on his final video. Post on November 6th, where he warned Eastern Kentucky uh, residents, quote, be extremely careful if you're out there. How is arson weather? Uh, I mean, I, I get that forest fires count as weather. Yeah. But just fire in general is not weather. So he's trying to... Trying to become an amateur online weatherman and to get views to his videos, he goes out and sets a wildfire. I mean, I guess you can't, you're not storm. You can't create, that's probably the only weather phenomenon you can create, but <sighs> fuck you, that'll kill people. I, I just, you idiot. Number one, did you really think you would not get caught? You put it on Facebook! Well, he probably didn't put him setting the fire on Facebook. No, but when you sit, what, here's, when fires go off these days, there are investigations because they want to make sure that it's not, that it, it is a wildfire. There are people that do that. There are fire detectives. Yeah, they do this because they're trying to determine where there are danger areas for dry conditions that could- Or morons. Or morons, yes. 
They want to find out if it happened naturally so they can take precautions in the future to deal with potential wildfire areas, or if some jackass is just out there lighting shit on fire. Yeah. Like this guy! For Facebook views. For Facebook views. Now, this is the part that, that kind of pissed me off about this. This is, this is from the police. Quote, It's really too bad because he's not a bad kid. He's just mi misguided. He didn't realize how much danger he was putting other people in. I mean, I, yep, he's white. I mean, if you want to be a meteorologist, I'm thinking fire bad, probably a good thing to fucking know. Yeah. I mean, for fuck's sake, don't stop. Don't set shit on fire. But I mean, this is what we do. We apologize for the horrible, deadly antics of white men. Why? Oh, he didn't mean no harm. Uh, and how... I'm trying, I'm even trying to figure out what the hell his business model here was, or trying to, it's not even YouTube, he put it on Facebook. What were you doing? What Nothing you good. Doing? Being an asshole. Eh. There you go again, pissing off the Nazis. Hooray! Eh. I hope so. A guy with a frog avatar called me ugly and said he didn't want to kiss me today. That made my whole day. It's like, thank you. Yeah. He said, I dye my hair to cover my round face. And I'm like, well, my hair is red because I'm Irish and my face is round because you can kiss my chubby ass. How does dyeing your hair cover your face? Oh. The, pole, the pole currently has his new nickname as Daddy Doesn't Love Me Either. Yeah, then Dan made a poll as to what his new nickname should be. Mm. So, yeah, the first thing we learned this week is going out just because you want to get noticed doesn't mean anything goes. Fire is not a career path. No. And someone is going to go, but what about no? No. But what about no? no. 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 Get the fuck up! Mm. We've learned that just because something looks like something else doesn't mean it will behave like something else. You can't put in dogs and wolves. They're not the same thing. They're not the same thing. No, my hair is not dyed. It's real. And you might as well go out and let an orangutan be present. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, I think the orangutan would be smarter. Would. You can teach them tricks, you know. Yeah. So. Um, we've learned if you're going to use a taxi in the commission of a crime, you better fucking pay your driver. Hi, Dottie. Say hi to the internet. Hi. Fuck hi. off. Hi. Yes. <laughs> We've learned it's good to have, it's okay to have kinks, it's fine to have kinks, it's even good to have kinks, just don't inflict your kink. Yes. Don't, in, it should not be, it sh should not, don't inflict it's opt in. Expecting or unwilling. Right, it's opt in. It's always opt in. Always. You Opt out is, no, no. no. There's no reply all kink. No. We, we've learned that the pursuit of a yeah. selfie apparently tr overwhelms the uh, ancient fucking art. Why would you do that? Why? It, then, oh, look what I did. You shit. You How shit. How are you proud of that? I broke something 300 years old and they can't fix it. I'm awesome. No, you're not. And finally, we've learned... When you're in a hole, stop digging. When you're in a reply all chain, stop replying. I wonder if that's still going at this point. Probably. 
Because that, that's the point I would be like, fine, I'm going to shut down the server. Nobody gets email. Nobody has email anymore. You have lost your email privileges. Too stupid for email. Which is impressive. I mean, the National Health Service, these are medical personnel. Yes, they are intelligent people who are charged with making sure you don't die. Yeah. And they can't figure out how to stop replying all. I mean, to be fair, my sister is hospital personnel, and she's an incredibly intelligent person, and she once offered to pay me to build her a Facebook page. 